Hi, it's Christy. I wanted to unpack one more shoe box for you with a soccer ball so you could get um, a better feel for how to do it. I have a notebook here that I meant to pack with the spirals down, but it doesn't look like this one was touching the ball, but just in case, I like to keep it with the spirals down. Here's the pencil pouch and a dinosaur poster that I packed in. My last one, this one has soap. I don't have room to put it, well I guess I could technically, but it wasn't easy to fit it in a container and then it took up a lot of room. So I just left it in the packaging. I have a bandana. This one also has a deck of cards. It fits easily in um, those in-between spaces when you have a bulky item like this. Toothbrush and cover. This is one of those really um, small pumps that I like. The Friendly Swede uh, makes them and you can find them in, on Amazon. And they have extra needles, three extra needles packed in there with them. This has a bigger action figure in it. This uh, Robin, I think it's a six inch action figure. They have all the Marvel, Marvel figures and DC figures that they're selling at Big Lots. I just got this uh, yesterday. Um, I just mentioned that because this is the first year that Operation Christmas Child in America has allowed action figures as long as they don't have any guns, they're allowed to go. I like his cape. So this Robin is a good size to fit in a shoebox, and it fit nicely in this soccer ball box. Now some people don't like to pack soccer balls because they feel like a soft toy is really important for children. And I just wanted to pack this Husky in here so you could see that you could do a soccer ball and even a soft toy like a Beanie Baby would fit in. So you can do both. This is, uh, of course, a flashlight. And if you pack extra batteries, or you should pack extra batteries, make sure you put the tape on the ends like I've done here. I also rubber band it, so more likely to, to stay like that. I bought a, a lot of whistles. These are the really good kind that referees can use. Like if, if you're a referee for kids soccer, you could use this um, kind, I guess. I got it on Amazon and this has a, had a mixture of silver and colorful whistles. So they're supposed to be really good whistles. They're not toys. And they were inexpensive. When you buy them in bulk, you can get things for less. This is a matching psychedelic green uh, cut wheel. Um, I like to include the Sharpies so that they can put their name somewhere on the ball. I got a package of colored Sharpies, so I had to divide them among the soccer balls. Oh, here's uh, just a wad of paper clips. They can put all of that in their school uh, pencil pouch when they, when it, they get it. This one has a comb and a duct tape that has a leopard print on it. See how it just kind of, the end of the ball fit in there. And this is a Franklin soccer ball. Again, I didn't put the, I could have put the rubber bands on it to squeeze it closed, but it just to me seems like I can get more in if I do it in a disc shape. You're just going to have to experiment depending on what items you have in your box. And I did do a different video uh, earlier today that explained how to take the air out of the soccer ball. Here's some school supplies. Some scissors. This one was a little trickier because of the dinosaur that I bought. This is a f actually not a dinosaur because that's a land animal. This is a flying, like a, let's see if it says, I think a pterodactyl, um, but I could be totally wrong. Uh, Ramphorhynchus. Okay, well, it's a flying dinosaur type of animal. 
And that had to go in. I had to try it over and over again. It had to go in sideways like that so the ball could fit on top. I did not take the packaging off of this magnifying glass because I didn't want it to get scratched, but I try to take as much packaging off as I can. I'm going to take this off of the dinosaur. It has the price tag on it anyway. I don't want that in there. There's an extra pen. Here's some dinosaurs in the pencil sharpener. Put it in the lid as a little surprise. Let's see which ones are in there. A mastodon, a stegosaurus, to I would say a pterodactyl kind of matches what's what's there, and this looks like a T-Rex, the green one. You know, we don't know what color dinosaurs really were um, because we only find the bones. So this is an artist's interpretation. Be interesting. It'll be interesting when we ask in heaven, God, what color were dinosaurs really? Colored pencils. This is an emergency rain poncho. I like that it's blue. And here's a compass. I also didn't take the paper off of that because I didn't want it to get scratched. Compass on a carabiner. Mm, washcloth. Yellow. I was able to fit this kind of a coloring activity book in the bottom. This is our card that is left for them to color with our picture and a letter inside. And I packed many boxes with these. This magnetic puzzle, which I love, of the world. God loves every tribe and nation that was left over from our VBS program. And I think that's the end of this box. I feel really good about all the different things that I was able to pack in here, even though the huge soccer ball takes up so much room. As long as you have um, smaller items that can fit around it, you can definitely squeeze them in. And it's not as hard as it looks. Like if you try, if I, as I'm setting stuff in here, you think, how in the world can you get all of that stuff back in there? It really can be done. It's just a little bit of finagling, and after you've done it once or twice, you realize it's not as hard as it appears to be. And I think it's worth it in the long run if it's going to be um, a super exciting gift for a child to receive a soccer ball. Um, so if you have any questions about how I put these together with the soccer ball inside, uh, leave me some comments in the comment uh, section below. And otherwise, I encourage you to get some soccer balls, take the air out, get a pump, and uh, pack at least one next year. If you haven't already or we still have time now the um the week isn't over yet well thank you for watching take a moment to like and subscribe if you like these videos i will be continuing to do these um, throughout the year uh, maybe talk about the sales that i find suggestions on ideas that you can uh, how you can budget in money to buy uh, your items throughout the year it helps you really save money if you do it throughout the year because you can be buying when the sales come up and then also of course next year I'll be uh, videotaping my boxes and the new things that I found thanks for watching have a good day